Hey guys, it's Paula. I'm so sorry that it's been taking me so long to come back, but here is a video on my everyday um, makeup tutorial. As always, I love using powder. I'm not really big on concealer because it feels really heavy on my skin and I just haven't had the time to look for one that's light on my skin. So um, this is just cover girl and I'm just applying it all over my face. That way I get an even skin tone. Um, and then this is Elf's Bronzer and um, Blush Duo, and I only use the blush side because it's really light and shimmery, and it's really hard to find a good blush for me, so that one ended up working out really well. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial soon, too, after this. That is an angle brush for my eyebrows. I have, like, no hair on my eyebrows, so I always have to use... A, um, a brow thingy to <laughs> brow powder to define my brows since they're like non existent. See, there they are. <laughs> so, I always lick my lips, I don't know why. I've never had chapped lips though. I think it's because I lick my lips so much. This is the Victoria Jackson um, face kit. I got it at a warehouse sale, so I'm not sure where you guys could purchase this. I would just try Googling, Googling it and seeing if you know it comes up on like some website that they're selling it. And I'm just using a really light beige color on the lid. I dyed my hair redder too, if you guys can tell. And I'll be doing videos on how to achieve red hair because I have so many people asking me all the time. So I'm just going to make a video. That way all your questions get answered. And right now I'm mixing like a darkish brown with um, a really like kind of burgundy-ish purple. I just dipped my, my brush into both of them. And I'm just hitting the ends of where my eyelashes are all the way to the very front where my um you know I think you start <laughs> so I'm just going from the beginning to the end and making sure not to get too far out because then that looks kind of weird your I guess where your um eyeshadow is supposed to end is where your eyelash I mean eyebrow and so just try not to get any further than that. And then right now I'm just putting liquid eyeliner on. I hope you guys can see this. Um, some people think it's hard to do a winged eyeliner, but it's actually really easy. Some people like to start from the end and go forward. And then others just do like little dots and then they connect them. I have like Asian eyes, so my eyes aren't really wrinkly, they're really like flat. So I could just smoothly just go from, from the corner of my eyelid all the way to the end. And I just fill it in. So I'm starting from the very corner of my eyelid all the way to the end. And I'm not trying to do it all in one swoop I'm like pausing and then getting more stuff that way you don't get like a really light eyeliner you want to try and get it all covered like dark so I know when you start running out of the um, liner on your brush that it starts kind of cracking so just go back and make sure you go get some more and finish the, the lid So there's the end result of my winged eyeliner. It takes a lot of practice. I couldn't do it in the beginning either. And it's really hard for me to do it with a pencil liner. So I recommend a liquid eyeliner. And it messed up on the side. So you could just go back and get... Um, I know my little brother and sister used to have these... Um, like baby wipes and I always use those if I have them handy or I use makeup remover and you just 
you know, fix your mistakes. It's not a big deal. And then I never really use mascara because my eyelashes are so small, so I don't even waste my time, and I just don't do mascara. But for the sake of the video, there is um, Colossal Mascara, which I love because it covers everything and it makes them look really full. And I'm getting the bottom lashes as well. And that's it. If you want, you can add some lip gloss.